guys so in this part of mongo tutorial we are going to learn about the mongo shell about json so very first thing is mongo is an object database which essentially relies on json so if you are learning or uh, mongo you must know uh, basic things about json and best thing is just go to json.org it's not rocket science it's just you know a simple page where they have defined the mongo and uh, it's very famous lightweight and it's so famous because it's very simple so you know it's very um, um, difficult to be simple and it's very simple to be complex so this guy is like very simple it just have the curly braces inside which you will have some members which are just separated out by the uh, comma and uh, whatever like it's uh, each set is a name and a value like the key value pair so they are separated by the colon and you have some arrays and this could be nested and array can hold the object and object can hold the array and vice versa that's that simple and value could be number string object it could be null as well or true false like the boolean and uh, there you you just go here and you will find on this side that it's very very simple um, i'll show you some example also as we you know go ahead so uh, that's uh, let us try to create a json document and then we'll see about mongo that how mongo shell is a uh, uh, kind of javascript shell and which runs the json object so here I create a JSON object is equal to let's say so uh, whenever you create a JSON object there you go it's your JSON object just let me press enter and you get this object once you say JSON object JSON JSON object right so this was empty so let us uh, try to put some value in the JSON object. So you have JSON object, you have empty JSON object. Now you need to create a key. So let's name uh, it as a name. And with name, let's take my name, frame a seam. And then a second key value pair would be, uh, let's say sex. And then we have male here. So this is a super simple um, JSON object. Yeah, of course we can keep an array. An array could be like hobbies. So remember that the key has to be string and the value can be array. You cannot keep the key as anything else like a number or array. So hobbies we can put A, B, C and x y z so to be faster let's finish this with a number let's say age is 16 which it is not but i'm just kidding so there you go you found a json object here and you're able to print it you can expand it you can see the values blah blah so uh, to learn um, Mongo, you have to, you must know this. Now we would try to execute the same thing in Mongo shell. So let's have the introduction to Mongo shell. So I have something, let's just clean it up, wipe it up. So I have the same JSON object. I press it, it comes here. Now you also have this, I'm pressing up arrow key. So whatever commands you might have, uh, you know fired before they might show up so that's super simple you can do multi-line uh, thing let's say json object one is equal to I open parenthesis hit enter then i say name and then and i say rocky and then whatever field i have to say age so rocky is again 16 years and the moment i close the bracket you see here that this is complete no error but for example if i screw this up i write something blah blah and blah blah 
oops there is some error so it uh, checks for the referential like if the it's a valid JSON object same thing here if you screw up anything you get the error so it's it's just a JSON thing uh, which we tried here and this is the uh, this is the uh, developer toolbar from Google Chrome this this guy what I was trying there so coming back here let's try to see what collections we have and then try to insert in names db dot names dot insert and you can insert any json object now the beautiful thing is these were the json stuff object which you assigned above they are available throughout the session and once you hit enter it would get inserted and you get a message that it's inserted successfully if you want you can just try figuring out so we'll learn it later how to find the exact name what you just inserted but for now you just inserted uh, uh, now let me tell you beautiful thing is you can even run for loops like the proper JavaScript in the Mongo shell so we assign I value as zero we want to run this loop let's say four five times we do this then we do this and then we can say anything let's say print we can print my name for example there you go so you have printed the for use the for loop of JavaScript you can use while loop you can do all the JavaScript so uh, to conclude this chapter uh, the Mongo shell is nothing but it's the uh, JSON interpreter it's a JavaScript uh, interpreter or yeah something like that you can think about that and um, then things will become uh, easier to connect that you can run any JavaScript even you can import JavaScript so in next lesson we are going to learn about inserting data and so see you in next chapter uh, stay tuned and enjoy learning Mongo bye